pick up an item in your house. Chances are that with a little observation, you can find out where it was made. Many of the products that you use every day were made in other countries, such as China, Japan, and Mexico. In fact, items that people in the United States depend on come from dozens of countries around the world. However, if your silverware is from France or your new television was made in China, how did you come to have it? The answer is international shipping. The word international means occurring between two or more countries. Making or collecting goods or resources in one country and then shipping them to another is an example of international shipping. A few hundred years ago, international shipping was much more limited and difficult to accomplish. This is because technology had not advanced enough to improve transportation methods. International trade between neighboring countries was done on foot or horseback. Trade between countries great distances from each other could only be established by boat. These voyages could take weeks or even months to complete. Today, international trade is extremely popular and much easier. The two main methods of shipping goods internationally are by air and by sea. Some international trade is still done on the ground. When it comes to international trade, shipping goods by air is quite popular. Using a plane is a safe and effective way to get a large number of resources from one part of the world to another. In addition, planes can fly many different routes over land and sea. The only real drawback of using planes for international shipping is the cost. With constant refueling and maintenance cost, cargo jets are very expensive. The other most popular way to ship goods internationally is by sea. Many countries use huge cargo ships to transport their goods and resources to other places around the world. Cargo ships are more cost-effective than planes because they can carry more products per trip. Unfortunately, if a country is not located on a coastline or does not have access to a river, it is virtually impossible to ship goods to or from that country by water. The other drawback is that shipping by sea takes longer than shipping by plane. Finally, many countries and businesses still depend on shipping by ground. This method involves using trains and large trucks. Ground shipping is used by countries that share borders, such as the United States and Mexico. Ground shipping is also very popular in Europe, where many countries are landlocked and border one another closely. Thanks to advancements in transportation technology, people who live thousands of miles away from one another can easily communicate, as well as exchange products and resources via international shipping.